All right, thanks, Amy. Uh, I just shared out my screen, so hopefully you can see that now. Uh, just to go to a little bit of a description here, I know Amy's been talking for a little while here about Dragon Legal. And just to reiterate here, Dragon Legal, what I'm going to be showing you right now, is specifically designed to streamline the workflow of a law firm or corporate legal department while improving the legal professional's efficiency. Which is a quick and accurate speed recognition can speed the creation of contracts or briefs, emails, or any, really any other type of document. The two demos included here are going to highlight several important features. The accurate transcription of dictation with legal terminology, because Dragon has a legal specific dictionary, and the ability to format citations and the time saving benefits of custom voice commands to automate routine tasks. So in my demonstration here, I'm going to show you what Dragon looks like, what it can do. Just keep in mind, you know, if we really think about Dragon, think about it as a second keyboard that you're using with your voice. It's very point click and speak. Right now, you put the cursor where you want the text to go and you type on your keyboard. Dragon's just like that, it's going to work in the same fashion except you're going to be using your voice to type out your words. Uh, and, I'll, of course, I'll go into some routine data entry, too. Um, so you're going to see in my demonstration, I'll be dictating within programs like Word and Outlook, right, very common applications. But you may be asking yourself, well, does it work in my application? Does it work in Time Matters or um, my Time Slips application? Or does it work in this application, right? As long as you can put your, key, uh, your cursor in there and type in your keyboard, Craig is going to also be able to place the cursor, uh, uh, place the cursor there and type in that field. So it's not a question of will it work. Um, it's a question of can you type there? Yes, you can, and so, uh, so can you by voice. So what you're looking at at the top of my screen here, this uh, black bar is going to be what's called the Dragon Bar. This will be your heads up display, your user interface for Dragon. It's where you access Dragon's menus and features. And most importantly, where you can turn the microphone on so the Dragon can hear you. In this case, I mentioned before, I'm going to start out with a Word document. I'm going to start just with a sample deposition letter here. Open Microsoft Word. Header. Stephen Jones. November 17, 2015. New paragraph. Anderson. Now, I'm actually going to stop right there. Uh, I know I didn't get too far in my demonstration here, but just a couple things I want to point out. I talked about that routine data entry and the ability to uh, have the, the time-saving benefits of custom voice commands. This is exactly what I was referring to, is my ability to say something like header, and the header uh, popped into my document. Right, I said Stephen Jones, it put in Stephen Jones information right in it automatically for me. I said Anderson, and it put in the subject line for me automatically. So routine tasks, routine data that I'm entering in automatically over and over again, uh, we can actually create what we call an auto text, or basically a text and graphic command that you say this, and Dragon will enter a block of text for you. So in this case, I said header, and it put my header in it automatically for me. So at this point, now I can continue with my work and move forward and can, uh, dictate the rest of my uh, deposition letter. Dear Stephen, colon, new paragraph. Please prepare for the Anderson deposition re by reviewing some Commerce Clause cases, comma, particularly 289 Northwest 2nd, 416 Minnesota, 1979, comma, as well as preemption cases such as 764 Federal 2nd, 463 Third Circuit, 1999, period, new paragraph. Take note here that as I'm saying these citations, it's actually being formatted automatically for me by Dragon. I just said 289 Northwest 2nd, 416 Minnesota, 1979. Instead of having to say something like 289, N period, W period, 2D, 416, so on and so on. So it actually can figure out that, that formatting for you automatically. Within that preemption context, comma, consider home rule powers plus related policy issues, period. Also remember that when a federal statute does not directly overcome state law, comma, a federal administrative agency may do so by regulation, comma, reference 257 Northeast 2nd, 97, 1993, period, your paragraph. You may want to argue that the defendant municip municipality has exceeded its powers in an area of statewide concern, comma, setting 137 Atlantic 2nd, 1030, 1977, period, signature. And again, I followed it up with another one of those auto text commands where I can say signature. And again, that, it, that auto text is going to be a combination of text or graphics, or actually both in this case. So it's actually able to scan in my signature and make it part of my command instead of having to constantly scan that in or copy and paste it from another document. 
Now, Dragon's also going to have the capabilities to work between applications. Um, and you've mentioned uh, actually working within uh, email, right? That takes up a large part of your day. So whether it's something as easy as a quick response to somebody or something as far as a, a long, thought-out email, Dragon can work in either situation. In this case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this letter, and I'm going to send it over to Amy for review. Select all. Copy that. Send email to Amy Kreft. Maximize window. Anderson deposition. Tap that. Move to body. Hello, Amy, comedy paragraph. I've attached the Anderson deposition below, period. Please let me know if you have any questions. Insert before now. Me. Insert after questions. Here your new paragraph. Paste it here. New paragraph. Thanks, comma. Press delete. Send message. So even just the simplest of tasks, it even speeds up that uh, to the point where you're saving time no matter what the task you're working on. Now, Amy also mentioned about transcription calls and actually the Dragon's capabilities of actually listening to an audio file that you've recorded on a digital recorder or uh, a, a piece of dictation that you've recorded on your iPhone or your Android device. Basically, we can tell Dragon to listen to that audio file and transcribe it. Keep in mind, Dragon is speaker dependent recognition software. It's going to be tuned to your specific voice as a speaker. So if this isn't ideal for interviews, it's going to be ideal for something that you've dictated and recorded. So this still keeps you mobile while you're away from the office. It keeps you mobile in the sense that you can still create documentation on the go. And then once you get back to the office you, or get back to your computer, you can transcribe the audio file to Dragon. So I'm going to go ahead and delete what I have here in my window. And I'm going to tell Dragon that I want to transcribe a recording. In this case, we can choose what we, when, what we want to do with our text. Right? In this case, it's asking me, do you want to transcribe your text in the Dragon Pad, which is our own little Word Pad or Word Editor? Or I'm going to tell it, in this case, to let me choose the window instead. So I'm going to tell it where the text to go, where the text should go. So I'm going to browse and locate my file, basically telling Dragon what audio file do I want to listen to and transcribe. So I already have it set up here as a DS2 file, but we'll support anything from WAVE, MP3, WMA, DSS, and DS2, which any kind of recorder out there or, or recording device out there is going to make one of these types of file, uh, file formats. So I'm going to choose Open, tell it to transcribe, and then now it's going to wait for me to actually tell me, or to, for me to tell it where to put the text. So I'll click into my Word document. It's going to start listening back to that audio file and transcribing it. So I'll actually show you a little bit about, about the playback features of this right after it's being transcribed. Um, but uh, you actually hear in my, uh, in my um, playback where I'm actually saying stuff like Sally Smith is 36 years of age, period. I'm saying stuff like the paragraph. I'm saying stuff like all caps on or evidence, all caps off. So just as you saw me using Dragon before, actually live at my computer, I'm doing this into my recorder and issuing some very simple basic commands to make sure that my document is kind of formatted the way that I want it or close to it. Uh, so I can I can fix it up later. Now this process usually runs at a one-to-one -one ratio, meaning every minute of audio takes around a minute of time to transcribe. Typically, we're seeing faster and faster machines out there, um, which actually allow this process to change a little bit to uh, a minute of audio takes around 30 to 45 seconds to transcribe. Um, but when you allot for your time, you usually you have a 20-minute audio file. It's going to take about 20 minutes to transcribe. So. I uh, went ahead, I've already transcribed this. I can use Dragon to listen back to this. So rather than having to open up my recording and do a separate application, play it back, go back to my document, see if there's a mistake, go back to the recording, pause it, go back to my document and make the correction, and you have a lot of this back and forth motion, you have the capability to just highlight your text or place your cursor at the beginning of text and tell Dragon to play that back or just use the feature in the audio menu to play that. Sally Smith is 36 years of age, period. At the time of the incident, she was working as bar staff at the Red Lion Pub in Bristol, period. That might have been a little bit silent for you, but you actually would, uh, if you did hear it, you'd actually hear, my, uh, hear me dictating uh, uh, in my actual document here, rather dictating the, what was actually transcribed. So I can actually listen back in my own voice what was dictated and make correction, whether I'm at the more of an attorney standpoint or whether I'm actually at a secretarial standpoint. I can run this audio file through it and make the corrections quite easily. 
Now I can also correct my own work by using voice commands. You can still use Dragon, or you can still use your mouse and keyboard uh, to make these corrections. Either way, Dragon will learn, and I can even uh, add formatting commands in here, such as capitalized red lion pub. Underline 36 years of age, italicized Sally Smith. And you might have noticed there, in order for me to stop the playback, all I had to do was click into my document and it noticed that I'm ready to make the correction, so it stopped the playback. When I'm ready to resume, I simply click or highlight what I wanted to resume with, and hit playback, and it starts from there. The incident, she was working as bar staff at the Red Lion Pub in Bristol, period, new paragraph. She was open. So making corrections is easier than ever. So with that, I'm going to turn it back over to you, to, uh, to you Amy.